we have 5 volt in the input and we have 1.9 in the output means this is a good voltage regulator now let's pass to the second test using just the multimeter and test the serviceability of this voltage regulator without using the voltage and using just the, the multimeter let's do it right now okay now let's use the multimeter and test the voltage regulator of course we're gonna select the diode mode very simple we have just to put the black probe here in the ground and put the red probe once in pin number two and once in pin number three but the rule here is the reading here in pin number two we have about 320 will be less than the reading here in pin number three you see about 370 means the voltage regulator is good if you get any short zero or up line the regulator might be dead how to test one of the most difficult and important component in electronics opto isolator to test the optocoupler i will make it easy for you for the optocoupler as i told you this is the pin number one why because this triangle or this white mark means always this is the pin number one pin number two pin number three and pin number four so remember this is the first step to test any optocoupler identify the pins so pin number one and pin number two are the input side where we have the led pin number three and pin number four is the output side where we have the phototransistor okay now we identify the pins let's now move on to the second step to test the led the input side so guys to test the led we have to use the diode mode so remember the red probe on the pin number one okay the black probe on pin number two we should get a reading about 500 600 700 this is good the led is good but if you get a short like this means the diode is shorted or if you get open like this one or ol open line means the diode is dead is broken you have to get this reading about 500 or 0 0.5 0 0.6 drop voltage let's pass move on to the second step to test the transistor in the output side so it's easy here we have emitter and collector so the red probe in the pin number three the black probe in the pin number four as you can see we get a diode drop voltage a diode a diode reading about 400 but if we swap the probe we should not get anything okay this is good so the transistor is good and if you get a short like this means the transistor is shorted or if you get in this side up line means broken transistor those mosfets are the most used mosfets in electronics because it handles a high current with low resistance please before diving into the course we'd like to give a huge thank you to the sponsor for this video pcb way pcb way offers many services ranging from pcb production and assembly to 3d printing and a variety of materials cnc machining sheet metals fabrication injection molding and more pcb way makes it easy to get custom parts for your project and if you don't like to work a lot with a soldering iron they can even assemble your pcbs for you that's the pcb way now back to the video so a mosfet like this one basically has a three pins or terminals gates drain and source when a small voltage applied to the gate it allows a much larger current to flow between drain and source that's why they are used in switching high power with 
tiny control signals. So please remember that the first step is to identify the pins or terminals. Step 2. Put your multimeter to the diode mode. Of course, we gotta test this MOSFET outside the board and then test those on the board and observe the difference. So we gonna place the red probe on the source the black probe on the drain, we get about 300. In some multimeter, you can get 0.3 drop voltage. But if I swap the probes, means the black probe on the source, the red probe on the drain, we should see no conduction up line. This is the step number two. By passing the step number two, the MOSFET is good about 50%, but we need also to move on to step number three to confirm that the MOSFET is serviceable 100%. So in this step, basically, with the multimeter in the diode mode, I'm going to touch the gate of the MOSFET with the red probe while holding the black probe on the source this will charges the gate slightly so let's do it so the black probe on the source like this and let's touch the gate now i charge the gate slightly now the mosfet is charged so now if we check between drain and source do you see we get a reading in both sides, even if we swap the probes, we will get a reading. As you can see, we have reading here. And if I swap the probes, also I get a reading. Means conduction. Because the MOSFET is turned on. But once I discharge the MOSFET by connecting the source to the gate, and now if we check again, the black probe in the, on the source and the red probe on the drain, we have up line. The MOSFET go back to blocking mode. This step basically means the MOSFET is good 100%. I'll show you how to test any bridge rectifier, including four terminal bridges and even build your own with four diodes. So stay tuned because this is one of the most important curves in this series where I'm going to teach you how to test all kinds of bridge rectifiers using the multimeter. Let's get started. First, you have to understand the pinouts, especially for integrated rectifiers. Of course, we have four pins. We have two EC inputs, okay? This one, this one, this one, and this one, this one, and this one. One positive terminal, positive, positive, positive. And one negative terminal. So guys, without wasting time, the multimeter to diode mode. Please attention. A good bridge rectifier should pass three tests. Very important. This is very exclusive for electronic repair basics channel. Please attention. Of course, you cannot confirm the serviceability of any bridge a rectifier without passing three tests. So the first test is by putting the black probe, as you can see, in the positive terminal, the red probe in the negative terminal. We have to get a reading, basically a drop voltage. In some multimeter, you can get 0 0.3, 0 0.4 drop voltage. It's good. Anyway, you have to get a reading here. Okay, means we have a diode. The diode is good. But if I swap the probes, I should not get anything in the multimeter, as you can see. So, this is the first test. The second test here, we have minus. So, I have to put the read probe the red probe in the negative terminal, the black probe in the AC. The same reading as you can see. But if I swap the probes, 
I should not get anything in the multimeter. Okay, this is the second test. Now the projective height is good about 60%. What about the third test, the most important test? So the third test, guys, is by checking between the positive terminal and the negative terminal. Okay, so in both sides, as you can see, the positive terminal in the positive side, the negative terminal in the negative side. So both direction, as you can see, should read up line because no diode here from these two terminals we have no diode means the board terminals should read up line react let's first draw its symbol so this is the gate this one we called it anode one this one anode two sometimes my friend we can find anode one or T1 or M1 or sometimes also MT2. The same here. Let's begin with this one here with 12 amps. I have PTA12, 600 voltage. 600 volt maximum values. Let's begin with this one, my friend. So here, as I told you, we have anode 1, anode 2, and then we have the gate. So I have to find between E1 anode 1 and to get 070 no problem in both sides let's do it so let's check my friend so between the anode 1 and the gate we have to find how much 070 so let's find out so here one probe in the anode 1 the second probe in the gate let's check we have 067 amazing good this is a good react even if i swap the props like this i will find the same reading let's check as you can see 068 067 nice this is a good react let's check this one also my friends so this one basically this is the second react as you can see bta08 means 8 amps 600 volt as a maximum so let's check it so guys if for example you find this track is bad one you should replace it with another track with same reference usually we'll find tracks with 600 volt but pay attention to the current here we have 08 means 8 amps and the first one we find 12 okay so pay attention to current so one probe here in the anode one, the second probe, in the gate, okay. As you can see, my friend, 064. Amazing, this is good. Why? Because always we have tolerance for all electron components and we have error for the multimeter, okay? So, 64 drop voltage is good. Let's swap the probes. So, one probe here, my friends, okay, in the anode one, the second hair okay same already so guys before testing the transistor here is the most important tips that you have to understand so a transistor basically is a three pin component use it as a switch or amplifier so it has three terminals base collector emitter and of course there are two types of transistor NPN transistor and PMP transistor. So let's begin by how to identify the transistor terminals or pins, the base collector and emitter, of course, for beginner. And then we're gonna progress step by step deeply. Let's go. So, first, my friend, you have to put your multimeter to what? To the diode option. So let's begin with this transistor, my friend. One probe here in this terminal another probe here okay we get a reading basically a 500 drop voltage or 0.5 volts so let's move the black probe to the other terminal we didn't get nothing okay so let's move the red probe to other terminal terminal here okay we get the same reading means this is pmp look my friend p we get a reading n 
hair black probe and also here we get already means this is pmp transistor because we move the positive terminal when you move the positive terminal and you get a ready look i move it i move it here i get a ready means this is pnp because i move the positive terminal but let's see another one let's find out npn so let's check this one for example this one here okay one probe here another here okay nothing let's check this side nothing okay let's swap the props this time the black probe here the positive probe here okay let's replace this one to the other side to other pin we get already my friends do you see so the positive terminal here the black probe we get already we move the black probe here to this side and also we get a reading so we move do negative terminal means this is n p n why because we move this one n p n so this one is p n p this one n p n so let's check this one also my friends so one from here the other here nothing here nothing okay let's swap the props the positive terminal here check here nothing here we get already good okay let's check this one here also we get already here reading here reading we move the positive terminal look reading reading by moving the black probe or the negative probe we get just one ready but when we move the positive probe we go, we get two readings means this is what this is p and p let's check this one and after that i'm going to teach you how to locate the collector and emitter okay so this two here okay my friends this one here and this one here so guys these two are pnp this one is npn this one is npn let's check this one the last one so the positive terminal here the black probe here nothing here nothing okay let's swap the probes so one probe here positive here we get a ready positive here nothing okay let's replace the positive here okay we get a ready if we check the side we get a ready so by moving the black probe we get a ready in this side and also in this side means this is npn transistor so guys these two are npn these two are pmp okay